All right, guys, welcome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started so we can get you on your day. If you have not done so, we were just talking a moment ago, but if you haven't done so, please go into the civics class. These are the two documents that you need. Uh, but an easy way to do it is you can either just click download, or if you click on the document, you can download from here, or from here you can view it. Um, what we're going to do today, you have a, a PowerPoint presentation that I put together for you guys. Um, it's going to kind of reinforce what we did last time. We talked about different types of government. It's the same material, a little bit more in depth. You guys have notes that you're going to fill out, and it looks something like this. Um, when you download it, this will be fillable for you to type in. What you guys are going to do, I am not going to go through the PowerPoint for you like I normally do. You guys are going to spend this entire class period in breakout rooms, and you're going to help each other fill this out. So what you would do is, let me get a new share going here. So in your um, breakout room, you guys will view this. Robbie, can you see my types of government slideshow? I can. Okay, good. You're going to be my, my go-to guy, okay? Um, I color coded everything for you to make it easy to na uh, navigate. So autocracy is a type of government where one person is in charge. There's two types, monarchy and dictatorship. There's our friend there. Um, notice that I put it in red. When you guys fill out your notes, it's also in red to help you easily navigate. And it goes through an oligarchy, which is ruled by a small group. I have a, a few different types on there. Um, this is a new one, but again, you guys will figure that out as you're going through it. Uh, democracy is in green. There are two types, direct democracy and representative democracy. And what you guys will do in your groups is you'll kind of go through that and you're going to fill out this document. Robbie, do you see my note document? I do. All right. So here's what you do, and you notice that it's color-coded to go along with the, the PowerPoint presentation. Robbie, would you mind reading the instructions for us here? I'm gonna yes. blow it up there. All right. Use the information in the PowerPoint presentation to fill out each chart. All definitions must be in your own words. You will need to use outside sources to find the examples, example countries. Okay, and what's our first one? Autocracy. All right, and I give you a definition. Rule by one person. Rule by one person, and there's two types, monarchy and dictatorship. The first one is monarchy. So how do I figure out a definition for monarchy? Where would I look? Anybody want to jump in and take that question? So open in your up. brain. You can do in it in your brain, brain or what? Dictionary.com. No. Where would I look? What document do I have to help you get the, the definition? PowerPoint. PowerPoint. The PowerPoint. So let's, where would I look, Jason? The PowerPoint. But where specifically, if we're looking for monarchy? monarchy. In the monarchy slide. Go to monarchy. Very good. Jason, can you read the definition of what a monarchy is, please? Monarchy is ruled by a king or monarch, and he usually gains power through heredity. Heredity. This applies to queens, too. Keep reading. Keep going. That was passed down generation to generation. There are two types of monarchies, absolute and constitutional. In an absolute monarchy, the monarchy has no restriction on his or her power. The power is absolute. In a constitutional mo monarch, the monarch is bound by a rule of law and shares power, usually with a parliament. And monarch, the monarch acts more like a president in this situation. Okay, so now that Jason has read that, and that's what you would do in your breakout room, we go back to our notes and we fill it out. Jason, since you just read this, what would be a good definition for a monarchy? Rule by one person. That's an um, Okay, so we can say oh. rule by one. Whoops. Mm, yes. Rule by one person. That is usually what? Yeah, that's usually a king or queen. 
and it's passed on. Uh, and right. And while you're doing this, you can do heredity. Okay. How is the leadership in a monarchy determined? Oh, heredity. We got to put it in our own words. So, um, generation to generation, hereditary. Um, the son or daughter becomes the next what? King or queen. Heir to the throne. Heir to the throne. That's what oh. hereditary. You learned about that in science, what heredity is, right? Traits passed down. It's it's in the family, right? And you could you put this in your own words. Um, how do I find out an example country? I intentionally did not put that on the slide for you. How would you find that you out? Look, you look it up. Yeah. You look at the flag. You have a computer right in front of you, and there's going to be like five or six of you guys. Does anybody know off the top of their head a country that has a king or a queen that is technically a monarchy? England. Is it a UK? UK or England. Britain. Britain, whatever you want to call it. The old world. That fits. Whoops, did I spell it wrong? You could put Saudi Arabia, you could put uh, technically Canada because they're technically still part of the British Empire. There's a lot of things you could put. So you would just go on to Google and you would just search a country that has a king or a country that is a monarchy. Any of that would work. And then what I've done over here, after you give me a definition and you give me an example country, over here I have these kind of open-ended questions. It says, what is the difference between an absolute monarchy and a constitutional monarchy? What's the difference between those two things? Can somebody go back into the PowerPoint, look at it, and tell me the difference between them? The constitutional power uh, monarchy is where the rule of law is shared. So what would you say like a from constitutional monarchy stuff. is? Shared powers. Okay, so constitutional monarch has shared powers. Can a constitutional monarch do whatever they want to do? Or are they restricted in what they no, can do? No, they're restricted. Um, the power has no restrictions. For what? For the absolute monarchy. Okay. Absolute monarch has no, in that sense, Callie, are they kind of like a dictator? Yeah. Yeah. An absolute monarch means a king that can do whatever they want. So in a constitutional monarchy, that's what England is, by the way. Can the Queen of England just wake up one morning in a bad mood and decide to execute a bunch of people? Yes. The Queen of England? No. Why not? Because she is not in full control. No. Does she have to um, abide by the rule of law like a president does? Yes. Uh, yeah. Excuse does. me. I'm um, getting smarter. Your, um, your thing's blurry, so I can't see the answer for the last one. It says, you're talking about this one? Oh. Yeah, what is the difference between absolute monarchy and constitutional? constitutional? monarch has shared powers. They are restricted in what they can do, just like a president would be or a congressman. An right, absolute thanks. monarch has no restrictions. They are the law. Does that make sense? What country has that? An absolute, absolute. monarch. Saudi Arabia yeah. has that. Um, if you wanted to get technical, could we say, I'm going to um, back out of this a little bit. I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint. But what's that fun country over in Asia that we watched the video about? Who's this? North Korea. Korea. North Korea. Who's this guy? Oh. Kim Jong. Kim Jong. Yeah, North he's North technically Korea. considered. You could monarchy. also say he's an absolute. He can be considered a monarchy since okay. his Why son got the power. Jason, that's the point I was getting to. Why would you consider him possibly an absolute monarch as well? Because his how did, power was How did this down. guy get power? His From father. His, his father and his grandfather was inherited. So technically, could we call him an absolute monarch? 
Yes. Down the line. Yeah. It would fit. Technically, yeah. Guys, a lot of these things blend together. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So somebody repeat back to me. What is your job today? Getting all the definitions and stuff. stuff. You have. Fill out the doc. Okay, so you have the, the two documents. You're going to go through it. When is this assignment due? Friday. Friday, Friday at? 11. 11. Ele I thought you said lemonade. Yes, <laughs> lemonade. lemonade. Fr Friday at 11 a.m. Tasty. Guys, you're going to have, I'm going to leave the Zoom meeting open this morning until about 10 a.m. to give you guys a lot of time to go through it. Um, I'm going to be hopping around. Miss Tori is going to be in one of the breakout rooms with some of you guys. Your job is to work. You understand? Yes. Yay. All right. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. I'm going to open up the rooms for you guys. And you should get an, an invite. For those of you that came in late, hang tight for just a moment. So you guys should all have um, invites to go to the rooms. Nate, did you get one? Sophie, did you get one? Abby? Jordan? Sophie, can you unmute yourself, please? Jordan, are you there? Jordan. Abby, are you there? Yeah. Okay, did you get a, a breakout room? I did, but like when I go in, I can't hear anything. Like I see who's in my room. You know. Actually, Chloe, are you there? Yep, I just got and because I was doing stuff with my family. Okay, so why, don't, why don't you and Abby just hang out on the main page here and you guys can work together. Would that okay. work for you? Yeah. Okay, do you know what to do? Yeah. Are no, you sure? I do, I don't know. Can you explain to Chloe what to do or do you need me to do it? I can try. Okay, you try. So, I'm gonna come back in like three or four minutes and I'll check on the two of you, okay? Okay. All right. A cool by force. What's up, guys? Not much. All right, where are we at? Um, right now, I'm on the second part of um, the dictator one. The tub is a dictator achieve power. Okay, cool. So let's do let's do this whole one together to get you guys cracking. Okay. So, okay. Do you guys, do you guys see my screen? Yeah. So we're talking yeah. about dictatorship. Is this a good place to start? Yes. So the first thing they want is a definition. Eli, can you give me a good definition of what a dictator is or a dictatorship can I read off the tape like off that but you're going to put it in your own words so 
here, do this. Eli, can you read this? And then we're going to put it in our own words. In a dictatorship, power is not inherent, but usually is acquired by force. A dictator has absolute control over the lives of his citizens. And read that. Because a dictator has absolute power, op is a, yeah, Obviously. opposition is usually suppressed and people are prevented from voicing their own opinions. So Whether give, me a, give me a kid definition for a dictatorship. Um, I can do that. Um, right. A rule sure. acquired by force with absolute control over the people's daily lives. Okay, that's perfect. So let's go to our sheet. Um, where are we going to put that? Right here? Definition. All right. So, Nate, can you repeat what you said or something like that? Um, a rule acquired by force with absolute control over the people's daily lives. So I'm going to tweak that just a little bit. A government um, acquired by force that has absolute control over, how did you word it? Um, the people's daily lives. People's daily lives, the citizens' daily lives, however you want to word it. Guys, do you think that's a good definition? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So let's look at the next part, because he, he just kind of answered it, didn't he? Emma, how does a dictator achieve power? Um, I don't know. You don't know. I. Emma, read over here. Read where? The thing that I have high. Do you see my screen? Um, a government a, a government acquired by a force that has absolute control over the people's daily lives. So how does a dictator achieve power? By like controlling people. By force. Yeah. And when we say by force, they usually mean like military. Okay. Yeah. Good. Can we give an example country? Guys, look at the picture. What's the picture on the slide that has dictatorship? North Korea. Who said that? Nate. So what country is that? It's Kim, Kim Jong-un. What country is he the dictator of? North Korea. So your example right there in the picture could be North Korea. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, here's a hard one. This is kind of a more open-ended question. Why, in your opinion, might a dictatorship be unstable? I mean, why would it maybe not really last? What would potentially happen to it? Well, wouldn't it be that normally they could be, they could, um, the leader could die or something and they wouldn't pass it along to anyone? Okay. Yeah, the leader dies, then who's in control if the leader dies? What, what usually happens in a dictatorship? What do you think all, the, all of his minions around him will try to do if the Overthrow. leader dies? Overthrown? Yeah, they're gonna, aren't they going to fight each other to be the next dictator? Yeah. Or what's another thing that can happen to a dictator? Dictators are not nice, right? Yeah. yeah. Do people like living in a dictatorship generally? No. 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 What might the people decide to do? Uh, Overthrow. Overthrow. So when we say it's unstable, because there's no transition from one leader to the next, and because of the fact that it's just really not a good government system, you're always running the risk of somebody overthrowing. So let's put that into kid words. How can we word some of that? What do you guys, Eli, what, what would you say? Like, a dictatorship might not be, like, the best option, like, the best way to run a government because people can, uh, people or, like, like, the military can overthrow the ruler or they might try to overthrow the Perfect. leader. Yeah. Or we could say what Nate said. When the leader dies, there's no clear next leader, and they they might fight each other over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was that hard? No. No. So what's the next one that we have to do? Try to the next one that we do. Yeah. Uh... 
oligarchy. Oligarchy, but specifically a theocracy. So what you guys would then do, we go back to the slideshow. So boom, you guys see my slideshow? Yep. So here's a brief definition of what an oligarchy is ruled by a, a small group. And the first type, there you go. So again, you're gonna do the same thing. A few of the questions are a little harder and open-ended. If you can't get those, just kind of put them aside. Do the ones that you can, and I'll come back and check on you guys in a minute. All, All right. right. You guys yeah. cool? Yep. All right. Okay, so for theocracy. Theocracy. <laughs> You guys got to keep your cameras off. Yeah, Beck. Um, How are we doing, guys? We're doing good. I have learned that Junta, instead of saying Junta, it's actually called Punta. Yeah, Junta with an H. Junta. Oh, Junta. Which one are you guys on? So I'm on dictatorship. I'm on Junta. Are... Okay, let's, let's all I'm on direct democracy. Page. Hold on. So I'm going to go back. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Uh, yes. Right. Yeah. Since yeah. I have it up, let's do theocracy together. Can you guys all look. I can. I can. All look at theocracy. Yeah, look at theocracy. I'm going to show you guys my screen, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm done theocracy, so. but. Zach, are you there, Mr. Camera? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you read what it says about theocracy? The word theocracy contains Greek root theo, which means God. A theocracy is ruled by religious leaders. Keep going, bud. In, in a theocracy, religious leaders usually lead the society, and religious law is used to settle disputes and rule the people. No, no, no. Sometimes no. other religions are tolerated, sometimes not. Okay. It depends on the time. Okay. So when we go here... Give me a kid definition for theocracy. Ruled by religious leaders. A country that is ruled by religion. Any of that would work. Church rules, the mosque rules, the temple rules, whatever you want to say. Okay? For an example. So let's go here. Example country. I intentionally did not give this to you guys. How do you, how on earth do you find out what a sample country is? Google. Well, Saudi Arabia Google is both monarchy uh -huh. and a theocracy. Okay, Republic where did you get that from? Well, that was at the top of my head, but you could Okay, Saudi Arabia up. is an example, but here's what I did. All Republic right, of Iran. Um, I'm going to show you my Google page. What did I search? You searched, um... Modern theocracy. I'm looking for a country today, and so I can just kind of go through which countries have a theocracy. Boom. Mm -hmm. okay. right. Did you guys know? You guys know what Vatican City is? Yeah, I've heard of it. Nope. Heard of it? Who's this dude? Oh, that's the Pope. The Pope. So the Pope is the leader of what church? Church. You don't know. Church. There's, there's. Mm. It's a type of Christianity. There's dozens. Catholic. Of He's the leader of the Catholic Church. Did you know the Catholic Church technically is its own country? Really? Vatican City, I'll show you. It's actually, I think it's the smallest country in the world. Um, Vatican City is inside the city of Rome. Um, that's where St. Peter's Basilica is. Yeah. Seen this on TV before, you see the pictures that I'm looking at? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's basically the Pope's, can you guys see? The Pope's Palace. Mm -hmm. Um, you can go visit there. Um, the only people that, here's the entire country. Yeah, That's the entire country. It's like two square miles. It's this big giant church and this big giant open square where the Pope gives his speeches. Technically, they run themselves. Vatican City is inside the city of Rome, Italy. You see it? Mm -hmm. It'd be like having another country inside of downtown Tampa. That's weird. So, that, so the, the rules and laws, the Pope decides them, okay? Another one is Iran. 
So you can see these are uh, Muslims praying. Uh, Sounds like an act of rebelli rebellion. So we've had some problems with Iran lately. But, yeah. Uh, you remember their bombs. Whole thing. Um, so when you go to your paper and you're looking for an example of a theocracy, you could put Vatican City or Iran or uh, Saudi Arabia, oh, any of that ones. It's the this Republic is my of Iran. Iran. How could a theocracy also be a dictatorship? How could that? This is more of an open-ended question. They have a person, absolute power. So one, one at a, a time. Person, a person could like claim that they were like a some sort of religious figure, and maybe people would listen. Okay. They were. I mean, I watched an episode of the show where this guy was like hiding in a river in ancient Egypt. I'm like. Yeah, so he emerged like, like he was a god, and people treated him as an emperor. Yeah, they could just they could just say it, or they could take it over by force, couldn't they? Uh, hey, I, have, I, I have guess more priests, I have more priests on my side than you do. I'm in charge. They could do something wow. like that. Wait, what type of person would suffer? Okay, who would suffer in a theocracy? I Go know. back to the uh, notes. I know. Wait, people who are considered no? non-believers. Yeah, okay, people so... who don't believe in the religion. Non-believers, uh, people of other religions. Yeah. Yes. So if you're in a um, a Muslim theocracy, and you happen to be atheist or Jewish or Christian, um, could you see where maybe their laws might persecute you? Yes. Yeah. Or vice versa. If you're living in Vatican City, you're not allowed to. But if you lived in Vatican City and you're not Catholic, you'd be kind of left out, wouldn't you? Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. So, guys, keep at it. I'll come back and check on you guys in a little bit. When is this due? Friday at 11. Friday at 11. Just get it done now. Yeah. You don't yeah. have it. You don't have it to deal with. All right? Yeah. What's Hi. Up, guys? How are we doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Where are we at? Single party state. So yes. You're all the way down there? Yeah. All right. And is everybody participating? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So you guys, can you see my paper? Yes. All right. So you guys are on this? Yeah, we are on the last question of that one. Oh, so you've already, what, what definition did you guys get for a single party state? A um, non political party has control. Okay. Did you guys find an example? Um, Cuba. Yeah, Cuba is a communist dictatorship. Uh, China, you could say the same thing. Vietnam. Um, why is a single party state not a democracy? Did you get because a um, they outlaw the other political party. OK, in a democracy, do you have choice? Yes. In a single party state, do you have choice? No. Not really. You have choice, but only members of that party, right? Yes. In some single party states, like in China, they have elections. But when you get your ballot, who is everybody a member of? The same political party. Yeah, they're all, the, and in this case, the Communist Party. So you, you have some choice, but it's limited. Does that make sense? Yes. So you guys are on this one. How is freedom of the press treated? We are on that one. Okay, so what do you think? If you're in a country where other ideas are not really tolerated, what do you think the news media is like? The same exact, like, stuff having to do with whatever the political party is about. Okay, let's, let's put that into uh, words we can understand. <laughs> I think it would just be about, like, what the government wanted to say about okay. So you could say like it's all government owned and operated? So in our country, how many different news media outlets are there? A lot. Yeah, oh, too many, right? Yes. Yeah, there are dozens and do hundreds. Um, if you go to China, they censor almost everything. Everything from video games to movies to websites. If you go on Google, but you're in, inside the country of China, and you start Google searching things that they don't want you to see, you know what happens? 
You go to jail. You don't go to jail. You have a, you know what a firewall is? Yes. What's yeah. a firewall? A password protect, protected, like, website or entrance. Yeah, you're like, going to get, some. you would get something that comes up and says, sorry, we can't access that information. Why would the government not want you to see it? So that you wouldn't know more than what they want you to. Exactly. All right. It sounds like you guys are on the right, uh, right path here. I'm going to leave the Zoom open until 10 o'clock today, okay? So you guys have okay. at least until that long to work together. Okay? Okay. exercised by the citizens. Um, so the word democracy literally means people rule. Do the people rule in the single party state? Yes. Okay. I want you to go back and forth between those two slides and see what you can um, notice what's different about a single party state and a democracy. Dictatorship? Well, I put only people in that party get to vote. Lost in zone. Wait, this is like the easy. This You're is muted, Mr. Rowan. My freaking science notes. This is so easy. Clay, why did you leave the breakout room? Oh, I don't know. That I assigned you to. I didn't see it. Yeah, Mr. Mello. You, you were in there. Because he wasn't doing anything. Bo, what, what Mr. Mello? What room were you assigned to? Uh, what? Okay. What, what breakout room were you assigned to? I think nine or two. Or... Okay, that's where you need to be. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Did you let Eric call, uh, text me and to tell you to let him back in? Did you let him back in? Oh, I okay. I didn't see. I'm letting oh. him in. Now. He must okay. have him now. I just let him in. All right. Okay. So, um, Abby, Chloe, where are we at? I'm at the end of single party state. Okay, Chloe. Yeah, for single party state. Okay. Now. Did you need any help with any of them? I have no. a question. Yeah. I have a question. What's What's the example of a single party state? Okay. Would it be like North Korea or something? North Korea could fall into that. But here's what you do. Um, I'm going to show you my screen. Can you see my Google? Yeah. Okay. So all I do. There you go. Mm -hmm. So in okay. China. They only have one political party, the Communist Party. That's why if you, if you look at the slideshow, do you see the picture that's on single party state? Yeah. What is that picture of? Something red, I don't know. Does it look like, oh, my computer's running slow. Does it look like that? Yeah. Okay. That's the symbol for the Communist Party. That's why I put that on there. Um, um, we'll learn more about like what these, it, it's meant to symbolize the workers. It's a, it's a hammer. And the peasants or the, the farmers are united together. Um, anyways, so China would be an example of a single party state. Um, this is North Korea. You could say Vietnam. Cuba, did you know Cuba was a single party state? No. Where is, where is Cuba in relation to us? Where? Yeah. Do you know where Cuba is? Is it like below us or something? Below us? So if I dug in the ground, I'd find it? No, no, no. Like, I don't know. You mean south of us? That's what I meant to say. So let's look. See the map? I told you. Where's Cuba? South of us. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. Um, can you see it? It's this island right here. Mm -hmm. Where are we? Above that, north. 
you know, we're right here, there's Tampa. So we have a single party dictatorship. Like what, what's this island that I'm pointing to right on the tip of Florida? Um, you may have been there. You, people go there for vacation, spring break all the time. I'm the Keys. Yeah, Key Key, that's Key West. I wanna show you. Know, this is only 90 miles from here to here. So we have a, a dictatorship that close. Kind of neat, a little bit of trivia for you. Um, were there any ones that you were stuck on? No. Why are you giggling? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, okay. Um, I'll let you guys keep at it. Uh, we'll be open until 10 o'clock today for business, okay? So that gives you until then to finish. Okay. All right. Yes. Why I did not realize you were by yourself in a room. Well, originally I had Bo and Abby, but then they left. Well, they, they both their computers went offline. Oh. You want me to move you into a breakout room with their other kids? Uh, sure. What which breakout room is this? Hang on. Um. Okay, I'll put you in breakout room two. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up guys? Nate, I saw that you had a question. Um, so I'm just, I just needed some help with something so okay. the, which one right now i'm on we're on the junta and uh pronounced junta junta yeah yeah uh, junta. it's a spanish word but it's what it is it's so can you you're on this one um so an example country for this one would that be like thailand thailand is an example yeah oh okay yeah, yeah whenever you search the examples real easy way to do it is this i'm gonna go to my uh google can you see my google uh yes all right so just put junta examples okay and you should get um normally i would tell you not to use this stuff but it, it is accurate so here's a whole list um notice that some of these aren't current Juntas tend to get overthrown quite a bit so you don't really see them a lot but yeah, you could say thailand uh, Burma or Myanmar is another example. Oh, cool. So you, guys are, you guys are right here. So you got a definition, you have an example. So you, are you right here where it says, how does a junta form? I think I already, yeah, I already did that one. Okay. I'm just on example country. You're under what? I'm on example country, yeah, not so anymore, but. I was on example country. Um, so are you, are you on this one? Which one? Um, yes. Okay. Do you think a junta would have a constitution? Why or why not? Remember, a constitution is a document that limits government power. No. Okay, so probably not. Why? But they could because they overthrew the government, which I'd assume is probably because it was a bad government. They probably want to have a constitution in place, but uh, you, you never know. Okay, yeah, just what you just said is perfectly fine. Usually not, but they, may, they could make a constitution to make themselves seem legitimate. Does that make sense? Yes. They could write the constitution and the constitution says the current government should be in place. any of that works i'm gonna bounce around a little bit um we're gonna keep this open for another 15 minutes so that gives you guys a chance to work together and finish all right all right all right miss no no the thing about miss mark is she doesn't know how to like control any of this stuff she's like can you see it hey can you Kylie, see it? Kylie, yeah you're being recorded kiddo uh -huh. how are we doing Oh, uh, we're on the last two. You're on what? The last two. Okay, did you need any help or did you have any questions? Nope. No. Nope. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I want to see though. So you're on the last two? 
Yeah. Let's do one together. I'm just making, you know, my job is to make sure that you understand. Um, so you're doing what, direct democracy? Mm -hmm. You're on this one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's well, a good definition for a, a kid definition for direct democracy? Um, direct democracy is like run by the people. So like, it's like, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, so like the people run the government. Okay, so you could say citizens run the government by doing what? How do they do that? Voting. Yeah, voting on what? Voting on I'll help you law. Voting on laws. It's the ultimate people rule. It, it, pretty much any decision that needs to be made, everybody goes out and votes. Are we gonna build a road? Well, let's vote. Are we gonna raise taxes? Well, let's vote. Are we gonna go to war? Let's vote. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, how are you guys finding the example countries? Me. Shannon's looking it up. <laughs> Shannon's looking it up. All right. Shannon, can you give us an example? Uh, so basically the modern Western style democracies, which is the United Kingdom. Well, they're not, understand, France. they're not, there's no pure direct democracy in the world, but there are countries that kind of do some direct democracy. France. Um, France does some of it. Um, United States. United States does some of it. Switzerland is a good example. Now, you said that the United States does it. Do we do it for everything? No. 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 We have some direct democracy in this country, but we're more of a representative democracy. Yeah. Which leads us into this question. How do we use direct democracy in America? Do you know what a, um, a referendum is? I think I actually put that on the thing, didn't I? Yeah. Slide show? Let me, let me pull it up. I think so. I think so. I'm old. You did. I'm looking at it right now. You did. Okay. So, Miss Kylie, what does it say here? It says a ref. Oh, you want me to read the whole thing or just a referendum? Read the whole thing. Well, read the um, this and this. Okay. In Florida, citizens can propose new amendments to the state constitution if 60% of the elector uh, electorate. Elect I okay, <laughs> can agree on the amendment. Citizens also vote on law initiatives. Initiatives also also are called referendums. A referendum is when elect elected le legislature propose a new law, and the citizens vote on whether or not to approve it. Isn't that direct democracy? Yeah. Yeah, we do this. Remember, we learned about this in Florida. How we constantly are updating the Florida Constitution. What will happen is the Florida uh, Congress will propose an amendment to the Constitution, the Florida Constitution, and then they, they ask the citizens, hey, do you guys like this or not? And if you can get 60% of the electorate, which means voters, to vote on it, it passes. So this is an example of direct democracy at the state level. So is this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then what's the last one? Representative. Oh, wait. Um, it says, what types of situations is direct democracy not suited for? When do you think letting the citizens argue amongst themselves and vote would maybe not be the best idea? Like whether to go to war with a country or something. Okay. Yeah, that's a great example. How about like what's going on right now with coronavirus? Yeah. And whether to open up the state or not? Yeah, do we, should we reopen the economy? Why would that maybe not be the best idea to let the citizens decide? Because a lot of people want to go back out into like the beaches and stuff like that, but it might not be the best decision because more people can get the virus and they could like are, go up. Are they all medical doctors? No. no. No, they don't know any better. I'm not even qualified to make that decision, right? Yeah. Okay.
I think you girls understand. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the Zoom meeting op open until ten, so you have until then to keep working. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. How are we doing, guys? Uh, uh, we finished. You finished? If you guys are finished, you're free to go. Um, oh, we are. Were you guys able to upload it? Yeah, uh, I already submitted it. Good. I should go do that now because I'm able yeah, to. Take care of it now so it's done and it's off your plate. You don't have to worry about it. Did you guys have any questions? No, it's really. pretty easy to understand. Yeah, yeah I, I think I, I did a good job, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if you guys don't need anything, you're you're free to go. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 All right. Bye. Good afternoon, guys. Bye. You too. So, in my opinion, I think it's going to be limited because only one political party has the right to form the government. So, if only the Republicans are doing it, if only the Democrats are doing it, yeah, then it'd be all wonky. Are you guys talking about single party state? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a perfect explanation, Dylan. Yay! Well done. Good job, Dylan. Give yourself a it. virtual pat on the back. I did it. All right. How we did? You guys need any help with any of them? No, we just finished it. You're done, one hundred percent. Yes. Okay. Yes. If you guys are done, I would suggest go in right now and upload it so it's done. And it's off your plate. Woohoo! And that way you don't have any more civics work. Yay! Oh, before I forget, just a reminder there are going to be test retakes. Um, oh, sweet. This Friday from 11 to 2. So if you want to, it'll be open. I'll put a reminder on Ed's before you guys. Okay. All right. So, guys, if, you you're, if you don't, you're welcome. Um, if you are done, you're free to go. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't have to hang around unless you want to. Yeah. How are we doing, guys? We finished. Good. Just all three. If you guys have finished, I would suggest going ahead and just uploading the assignment so it's done. I already did it. All right. And I'll, also, just I'll a reminder, see. I think most of you did pretty good on the quiz, but um, there is a quiz retake Friday um, huh? from 100. 11 to 2 on Socrative. So if that's something that you need to do, that's when it's going to be available. Wait, Mr. I will, Mellon. I'll post a reminder on the ads before you guys. Mr. Mellon. Okay. Yes. Um, so like you were saying earlier about you were calling people or saying or like about failing and stuff, what grade do you have to have to be failing? Um, I'm not going to divulge Six. that. <laughs> yeah, David, you have nothing to worry about. Okay. Is it 80 or higher? No. It's, it's, a no. lot it's a lot. I'm less. on like a 92. Okay. So. I have to nobody, say no to nobody in, the, of my nobody in this room right now is in any danger of failing any other classes. You guys are fine. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mellon. Right? Yay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. If you're done, you're free to go. I have a seen in math, so. Um, I think I can do um, the how do we use direct democracy in the USA. What's what do you do when you, when I, oh, hi. Are you, do, are you guys doing okay? We're doing okay, but we do need a little bit of help with um, the fourth one on single party state. All right, we just skipped that. it and moved on. But, uh, let, me, let me pull up my, uh, my notes here. Give me all the right. question. Huh? For single parties. Can you see my thing? Yes, I can. So you mean this one? Yeah. The, how does freedom of the press treat it in a single party state? Okay. That one was kind of difficult to come so up with an answer. In a single party state, dissent is not tolerated, meaning other ideas that are contrary to what the ruling party wants are not tolerated whatsoever. So how would they treat the media in a country like that? What would the media look like? Like other ideas. Other ideas or what? Other ideas that do not favor. What Why is that? Hold it up. I need a second because it's telling me that I wrote when I wrote something, I wrote it incorrectly. So I don't know why, okay. but. Uh, Let I me ask you this. In our country, we have a democracy. Um, yeah. We essentially have a lot of different ideas that are kind of floating around. Uh, yes. In our, in our, yeah. 
How many different news channels do we have? Hundreds of thousands. Yeah, too many, right? Um, yeah. In a single party state where only one way of thinking is tolerated, how many news channels do you think they're going to have? A few. Maybe a few. And who's going to run them, do you think? Probably that single party. Probably the government. Or at least, even if they are independent, do you think the government will censor what they can and can't say? Yeah. Yeah. Are they going to allow somebody to say, oh, the leader is really bad or the, the ruling party was wrong? No, they'd probably kill him. Yeah. So your answer would be something along the lines of, I'll show you on my screen. Um, so like other ideas are not tolerated in a single party state? Yeah, yeah, in general. Or you could say there really is no true freedom of the press. Or I would even say uh, news media is usually controlled by the government. Well, like 100% bias. For the most part, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, we actually have to stop here. So I'm gonna invite everybody back onto the main room. All right. Oh, go back in. You're muted. Mr. Amen. Mellon, you're muted. Thank you. I keep forgetting it does that. Um, before I let you guys leave, when is this assignment due? Friday. Friday. Friday, Friday at 11. <laughs> By 11 a.m. Reminder, there are test retakes this Friday from um, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. So for a lot of you guys, you did really well on the quiz. I'm very happy with that. But if you do need to retake it, or if you missed it the first time, it's going to be this Friday. I will put oh. a line on Ed's before you guys. Okay? Uh, okay? If you are finished or you're done, you are free to go. Okay, um, free otherwise, to go. if you want to keep working or if you have questions, you can hang back. Bye, Mr. Mellon. Hey, have a good one.